Get into your mind that <coughs> the things that you're going to make, the residual that comes off of the stones that you're reducing, which is known as debitage, wind up being tools. Right? Everybody probably has a notion in their mind of what a knife looks like or what you perceive to be a knife that you're going to make, correct? Mm -hmm. What would you think a knife is going to be after you get done reducing it? Shape of your knife. What do you think your shape of your knife is going to be? Uh, about this long, <laughs> about this wide. Nice round blade. Okay. What do you think it's going to be? Same. Same thing. Pretty much everybody in the grants. Any cutting edge you can hold on to without getting cut. Yeah. That's about the best answer that you're going to have. Um, what I have here are four examples. Most people think that when they find um, points in a field, if you're a field hunter. You go out, you find points. Most people think that they're arrowheads, and they're not. Most of them are knives, or they are large atlau points. I have four examples here, and every single one of these examples would be considered a knife, and they would be used as such. The first one that I'm going to pass around, I'll start from over here. Please be careful with these. Do not drop these. All right. The first one that I'm passing by is what's known as a Fulton turkey tail. I didn't start one over here. The second one that's going to come from the other side is known as a Snyder's point. This next one, which is very indicative of the Susquehanna Valley coming out of Pennsylvania, running down through the... Susquehanna River, which was a trade route going from Pennsylvania into New York, is that is a Susquehanna broad point. This last one that I'm passing by, this is an exact copy of an artifact that I found in a field, and this blade right here has skinned and cut the last 12 deer that I have killed. But he has it on video, so even yeah, skinning, actually, skinning the deer. I actually that have thing. that on video, so if you want to check that out. And where yeah. is your video located? Uh, my videos are on Snowwalker Bushcraft on YouTube, and you can go there, and there's a whole bunch of stuff on there. So, as you can see, they're not so much that long, elongated lancelet point that you would think a knife would be. That's the finished product. Some of the things that you're going to wind up with, your debitage. If I take that, if I take any one of those knives and I use that, what winds up happening is eventually, yes, your edges get dull. So you have to re knack those and make them sharper. However, everything that I knock off to get to that point such as a flake like this, I can do an entire deer with that flake. Be careful with that, guys. Yep, be careful with these. They will cut you. They're indiscriminate. When you say that is this it, is, is it a... That's a flake. That's a flake. Brian? Yeah. Brian, you said that this is an exact replica. Um, I found that point. I found that point in the field. I took a micrometer. I measured everything out, measured the thickness the width, the length, and I napped that point to match the point that I found because it's an artifact that I won't use that artifact for anything. Okay. Is that your diagram here? Yeah, actually, um, no. that point, actually, believe it or not, is a snook kill point. And this is an example of a snook kill. You can, I can leave this local or you guys can pass this around. The, the points that you see here on the bottom, okay, <laughs> these shaded areas right here, those are the points that I found in the field. I've
hammock. What? Oz may have spent a lot of time looking for his tools. Crazy Og. Crazy Og. Crazy Og.